Hey guys and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be making um, the second part of this tutorial, sorry, the second part of this series, I'm sorry, um, I really do say sorry quite a lot, um, is making our YouTube banner to suit our concept text logo that we had last week. So first of all we're going to fill in the background black and I'm going to go quite fast. Um, you can stop and pause and customise it as much as you'd like and then make a new layer and we're going to grab our um, rectangle select tool and we're going to use our layers here and just make our ruler sorry here and let's just make this um, cool beam and we're going to get a very similar colour to black something like that, that looks really nice just so we can show where the logo is to go and stuff and we'll curl that there next we want to drag in our concept logo ensuring ensuring um, that we have it with a transparent background and um, surely most of you know how to do that um, if not I'm pretty sure there's tutorials on the internet I'm 100% sure shall I? sorry in fact I've got one of my own maybe I don't know um, so yeah just so we can see this bit more visible we're just gonna after selection and fill that with white sorry white and we're also going to after you selection it grab this again the rectangle select tool and click on this mode I'm just going to grab the top half of the selection fill it in with a moderate grey yeah. maybe a bit darker than that just to add some nice nice contrast that we've got going here um, so yeah, you can customise the text logo as much as you like, that's the beauty of the concept text logo thing. Um, so again we're going to move this around the centre. And starting off for today we're going to hide this, make a new layer. And we're going to be making a big rectangle, something of the lines like that with our, of course, rectangle select tool, changing the mode to that. And, um, sorry, I need to change it from that one. Like so. And we're gonna fill this with white. And then we're gonna select shrink by 12. And then command or control X to remove that center. And then command shift a or control shift a depending on your operating system and so we've got this nice 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 um, square and I'm going to after selecting that again selecting this mode and we're going to do about half and just fill that in just so it looks um, a bit cleaner um, so then we're going to duplicate this and we'll just move this down here. Sorry, not that ruler, the, the thing. You guys know what I mean. Gim doesn't know because Gim sometimes is really annoying me. Anyway, um, so on the bottom layer here, the bottom one, not that bottom one, the top one, yeah, this one, um, we're going to simply get the perspective tool. Um, sorry, the shrink tool here, the scale tool, and holding command or control, we're going to shrink it to something like that size. And like so, that looks nice. Then we're going to grab our perspective tool and stretch it out like this so. make sure the two lines are in line that, in, that is looking nice and in fact I need to redo that because the lines are straight so just pull it out here pull it out here that looks straight Sort of. 
Of course, you being the viewers would spend a lot more time on that than me, because I'm making a tutorial to help you guys. And then we're going to shrink it one more time, just to get it the perfect size, because you you want it the perfect size um, just for your text. Um, so I'm happy with that. Um, and and um, then you want to, with the bottom one here, we're going to shrink this quite a bit. And we're then going to scale that down. Going as quick as possible, guys. Um, so I'm happy with that. Um, then with your, let me just scale it down a bit more. And then getting our perspective tool and warping it up like that. So that is looking quite cool. With the top, top one here, we're just going to extend that perspective warp like that. Let's just move that out of the way, just so you get it. Perfectly in line. So after you've done that, again, scale it down. So this is a whole um, process of trial and error, just to suit the way um, you'd like it to work. Um, There we go, that's fine. Um, but of course, being viewers and the person who actually cares about this, um, you spend a lot more time, as I can see here, it's a massive, massive ugly bit. Yeah, you fix that up. Um, so then we're going to unhide that and we're going to um, scale it down again. Scale. And again. See, see, this is what I mean. Okay, sometimes, this is um, why Gimp needs to be fixed up a lot on Macintosh um, computers. Um, and now we're going to get our perspective tool for our text here, and that. Um, Try, try your best to make it in line, um, but that is a struggle sometimes. So yeah, hopefully. That's cool, that's cool. I'm liking that. So we're just going to make after selection, make a new layer and get our fill tool. We're going to make a pattern, use your pattern. Head over to dinpatterns.com if you're missing, if you're looking for a cool pattern, um, just to fill in there, um, go to dinpattern.com or made by an epic guy um, on YouTube called youtube.com slash epineckid, I'm sure most of you have heard of them, if not, go check out his channel, really epic illustrations, he's, to me he's a pro, um, I think all his creations are great. Um, so yeah, so as I said, use your pattern and set it on an overlay layer. And just for future notice, I'm just going to uh, get a text tool, Zyrod, five size, and I'm just going to write insert other stuff. Um, Just put that there. 
um, so you would put other stuff in there. Um, and from here, you can do as much customization as you want. You can add blurs, you can add um, anything cool, really. You can add all these different things. I think the plexus would look quite nice here. Um, so, yeah, this is the whole um, just making your own banner. So, I would definitely use a pattern. I use a pattern in most of mine. I use a text and or a logo logo so you can put your logo down here and Why is that not making a selection? Oh, yeah. Fill that in with white, sorry. Um, white, sorry. Deselecting that. Move it over here, alpha selection, select shrink by 12, we'll cut that out, we'll then deselect. you can put your logo down there of course use your perspective tool so yeah I think that looks pretty cool your logo there oh it's so cool so yeah loads of cool patterns at dimpattern.com I'll leave it in the description text in the description and that was second part of our tutorial um our creating YouTube graphics so yeah this is a really simple layout and maybe I'll do more of these um so thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video